Okay guys, I wanted to go ahead and uh, do a, another update on our indoor aquaponics system and the system is now cycling and it's working uh, great. Um, I'm really impressed. Uh, we, had to make, so we had to make a few uh, modifications to, to the system and uh, it, everything, everything just kind of worked out in the end. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and run you guys through the changes we've made and uh, we'll look at the, the piping underneath right now. Okay, so the first thing you notice is we removed the all-in-one drain. Uh, each external siphon needs to have its own drain into the sump tank or enough water won't be, able, won't be allowed to go up the pipe and uh, to break the siphon. And that's the issue we, we, we were running into. Uh, so we went ahead and just scrapped that idea, moved forward, just changed it real quick. It only took a couple of minutes. Uh, these boxes we built around the sump tanks actually are working great. Uh, they're just to hold the, uh, the, the sumps, you know, keep them from bowing and stretching and stuff like that, just, you know, just to make sure that they are uh, uh, working. And we got one over here, and I will show you the line that we uh, put in between them. Okay, so this is the, the the front sump tank, and you can see we we put a level line. Uh, it's a one inch line that goes from uh, th that sump tank to the back sump tank, and so we we still only have one pump uh, in the system. You can see that. Uh, oh, looks like this one's about to start. We'll see if I can get that a little better. It definitely take a second to start. But once they do, they get going pretty good. And there's the full. Definitely sucks the water down pretty pretty far. And we had to use these little sequence to weigh, weigh down the, the belt because the, uh, the ABS plastic likes to float a little bit. But uh, you can see the water down there. It's being siphoned. Um, and when it reaches the level of the tube, uh, it'll break the siphon and the bed will continue to fill. But anyway. Uh, back to the sump. So yeah, so, so the sumps are connected uh, with the level line, which is then connected to our pipe or our pump, which is down there, and it's on a float, and uh, it keeps the level of the the sump, you know, pretty pretty low. And I'm, I'm, we're pretty happy with it. So all right, well I'm, I'm going to show you guys uh, the uh, last part of the tank. So that was the sump tank, uh, or the water returning from the sump tank into uh, our fish tank. And you can see the, the water clouded up a little bit, but uh, I'm, not, I'm not too worried about it. As soon as we get some plants in there to start cleaning up the system, I think it's, everything's going to settle and it's going to be just fine. But uh, the water comes out pretty, uh, pretty quickly from the sump. We're pretty happy with that. Um, we, are gonna, we are going to attach a second pump in here just as a safety precaution because uh, this is a lot of water to be dumping on a garage floor. So. Okay, so uh, the pump's up and we're running. You can see it down there in the corner. Uh, goes up through the pipe over here and deliver it to the beds over here. Uh, these are just some of the few things I have started that will we'll be going in this system and the outside system. This is a bush bean. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this one's about to start. So the water is stuck down to an appropriate level, but the water coming into the uh, pipe here is, uh, or the, the pressure coming from the grow bed uh, is forcing that water to stay at a particular level. And once there isn't enough water in the grow beds to continue that flow of water back into this pipe, uh, the bed is then turned off uh, with the inlet uh, on the top of the bell. So that's how we that's how we kill the bell siphons. Another benefit of having an external bell siphon is I, I really get to expand my uh, growing space in my bed. I mean, not not too much, obviously. I mean, it's only about you know this pipe is only six inches, um, but we would have to we'll also have to be mindful of roots growing around this uh, and, and in this area. So w with this, I, I don't really have an issue as long as I don't put a tomato plant or something directly in the middle over the drain. We should be all right. And. Uh, 
but that, that's just something that's going to have to be uh, experimented with. Okay, so that's the first tour of our outdoor, uh, or I'm sorry, our indoor uh, aquaponic setup. Um, I'll go ahead and keep you guys updated on the progress of the system. Um, I'll probably do a water uh, a water test here in the next, I don't know, week or so after the system has had a chance to cycle for, for I don't know, a week or whatever. So anyway, uh, stay tuned, and I will uh, update you guys soon.